Hey guys, I just want to do a quick project share. Um, I was in the mood to make something, um, but I didn't really want to participate in the swap because I have so much stuff and I'm trying not to keep getting more stuff. I'm trying to use up the stuff I have. So I was inspired by a swap that's going on in one of my groups on Facebook where they are creating a purse and it's a breakfast at Tiffany's theme. So I just kind of, this is loosely based off this and a, a mix of that and um, Tamika's little rack videos that she's been doing so what my goal was for myself was to try to use some items I've received in swaps so um, I put this together and I've decided that I'm going to give this to a teacher at school once we go back to school I already have somebody in mind and um, I think she's a fellow crafty person I don't really know if she does paper crafting but I really hope that uh, she'll like these things that I did so First of all, it's a little purse, and I'm sorry that I cannot get my camera to get all of this in frame, but then there's the handle. So here's the purse. It's pretty small. I compare it to my hand. So I found a short little video. I mean, this lady, we, I put this thing together like in five minutes. This video was so simple. So I'm going to see if, if it will let me link it. I found it through Pinterest. So I put the little, um, little bag together. This is with only one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, and really... If you don't want the handles or you only need only want one handle you really could get away with 11 by 12 because you're gonna cut two inches off to make the handles now this called for two handles but I just decided to do one so I use these brads to attach the handle and this little ribbon tassel I got in a swap so what I did is I went through some swap stuff I have some embellishment boxes and I picked out some things I like and they the first two things I came across were these right here and so they kind of have a shabby feel to them so I decided to go with the shabby theme so um, I just it was already made I just had to attach to the handle this little flower was already made I just attached it to the front I even got this trim in the swap and thankfully there was enough I was able to go all around the top and the bottom uh, the little brads I believe are from Hobby Lobby I just those were actually I saw those from my mom in her stash so then these little tags in the pockets these um, came in a swap so I'm kind of re, re uh, gifting those and same with this one here teachers always kind of give little thank you notes so I thought that could work and then this is where I was inspired by Tamika's videos. Um, I'll try to post at least one of those, at least the first one there, because then it'll link it to all of them. So I made some little butterfly embellishments. I have some die cuts. I use these little stamens I got at Michael's. This is just some pearl trim. I glittered with stickles around the edge. And this flower also came in a swap. So the paper for the butterflies in the background is this from Hobby Lobby. It's Prima and it is called Love Story. So I used this for um, another swap I did. So I just was using some scraps that I had left over. I just folded a piece of paper over to make a little topper. And then I made, actually I already had these two bows made from the swap out of that same that same Prima paper and I just I didn't use them they were extra so unfortunately I was missing the little middle parts but I always like to add a little like a double bow or some rhinestones or a flower so I went ahead and put those in there I did stickle around the edges of both layers I topped it now this was this was a embossed with say it say it with glitter or I can't remember what it was it's some little embossing thing that, I, that my mom has and so this was a little practice piece she had used and so I just reused it because I thought it looked cool and then this little embellishment also came in a swap and so I used it to kind of fancy up this back and then um, I like to cut the paper I really like a, a fringe or a tassel look um, I had I just cut out another little butterfly from that same paper Use, this is that same pearl trim that's on the bodies of the butterflies. Obviously, just cut down short. And I got these little tiny envelopes, again, in a swap. The paper kind of matches, um, but they did not come with any inserts. So I just cut down some pink cardstock, and I edged all of it in glitter. And I have these little tiny words, and so I just cut out different ones. 
for each that one says hugs and these little papers actually come out but the word is attached to um, the paper but the little papers actually come out of the envelope which I thought was pretty cute and then I have this right here so this um, paper clip task not paper clip yeah, this is a paper clip. That's right. Sorry, guys. It's late. This is a paper clip. All right. So this is a tassel paper clip, and it ma I believe it matches this exactly. They came together. So I'm sending it along with it, and I just uh, use some washi tape to attach it. You can kind of see it right there. I tried to match it the best I could, but I'm not, I don't really use a lot of washi tape, so I don't really have a lot of washi tape. So this is some washi tape from the swap. I just attached it down, and this paper... This whole little bag I reused from something I got, but I, yeah, this might have been in there. I cannot remember. It doesn't matter. Anyway, so the paper doesn't match exactly, but so that's why it looks a little bit different. So um, I use this as that Prima paper, and if you recognize the trim from the little tote, I had a lot of that. The person who sent that, she was definitely generous. So I used some of that there. So now she has. She can even take this off. I just tied it on. If she wants to take it off and put it on another bag, she could use this in her planner, whatever she decides. And then the last little thing, so I, I put some little um, banner pieces in here and I just decided to fancy it up a little bit. So all of this is from a swap, from an embellishment box. So this little piece of flower trim, it was, it was such a small piece, there wasn't really much I could do with it anyways. Um, I got a package of these little sacks and I got a couple of these little butterfly die cuts and these little teeny tiny um, clothespins that I think you can get at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just trying to keep, keep it up a little bit. So these are also from a swap. I got like a whole stack of all three of these. And so what I was thinking is since the backs are blank, she could leave little encouraging notes to whoever, you know, um, fellow teachers or to put with gifts or thank you notes to parents, whatever. So I just put those in here. this on here just to make it cute and then I, this also came in a swap and so I thought I would just send that along I know it doesn't really necessarily match but I don't really see myself using this for much so I thought I would just send it along to her and then got the inside so the, the way the tutorial goes it does leave these little holes but an idea that she had is she kind of filled it with that crinkle paper to keep things from falling into the holes. Okay, so that is my project that I wanted to share. Thank you for watching.